Hey guys, today I'm going to share a really simple coconut sweetbread recipe with you guys. So if you want to see how I do it, then keep watching. So first up, you're going to need two cups of flour, one cup of granulated sugar. If you don't have white sugar, you can also use brown sugar. One cup or two sticks of butter. I have a whole dried coconut here that I just grated finely. You can use one to one and a half cups as well. And if you don't have freshly dried coconut, you can use the one in the pack. I also have here a quarter cup of coconut milk. I'm going to use a quarter from this. If you don't have coconut milk on hand, you can use evaporated milk. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One egg. A teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg is not optional in this because this is what gives sweet bread its really distinct flavor and taste. You'll need one teaspoon of vanilla extract or whatever type of essence that you have. You'll also need a cup of mixed fruit. I found this at my grocery. It's not the same thing as the one you would get in Trinidad, but I'm gonna have to make do with this. So I'm using a cup of this and you can use some mixed peel as well. You can use about a half cup of mixed peel and instead of raisins, I'm gonna add dried cranberries. So you can add raisins in place of the dried cranberries if you want. And you'll need a dash of salt. So to my mixer now I'm going to add all my dry ingredients and just give it a quick slow mix just to combine everything. So I've just added the sugar and I'm just going to give it a nice mix again. Now you want to go ahead and just add your coconut. Same procedure, give it a next mix. So when everything's incorporated now, you want to add your butter and the butter must be at room temperature it must be really nice and soft and if it's not at room temperature you can just pop it into your microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds so that's what I did so I'm gonna pour all the butter in there So for some reason the previous video did not tape so when I added my butter because it was more on the melted side it didn't really resemble breadcrumbs but if you use room temp butter it's gonna look like breadcrumbs and you don't want to over mix this because that's when it's gonna get really hot and it'll choke you when you're eating it so try not to over mix it and I've just added my cup of fruit and my cranberries and you want to just reserve some of the fruits to add on top before we put it to bake so I just gave this a good mix and as I said try not to over mix it so now what you want to do is combine your egg with your quarter cup of milk and we're gonna mix this with our hand not with the mixer So now you want to add the milk and the egg to this. And just fold it in into your batter. So I've just preheated my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just going to pour this into my greased dish. I just greased it with some oil. You can use some butter or some nonstick cooking spray as well. So now you want to just add your 
fruits on top. I just kind of stick it in. So now you want to put it in to bake for about an hour and leave it in there until you stick it with a skewer or a knife and it comes out clean. So I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So my sweetbreads have just come out the oven and you're probably wondering how come I have two. I ended up separating it because I found that this one was a little too much in the pan. So I just separated it and it just came out and I just sprinkled a little bit of white sugar on top. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I will cut it when, it when it cools and I'll show you a picture of how it looks on the inside. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!